Yeah, it's a uh, very well developed project in which already 57 countries uh, take it part. So I think it's very important and it will be important player in building infrastructure. Um, the Czech government uh, is considering the membership in that, in that bank. I hope that there will be a, at the end positive answer. My personal opinion as the advisor to the president is a very positive one that the Czech Republic should be part of that bank. Then the Asian uh, in Infrastructure Investment Bank is another blunt and very interesting idea. And to a great extent, a very much needed idea. The point is that with the creation of this bank, as well as with the backing of the BRICS Development Bank, China has now made more capital available for development, and specifically for infrastructure development, in the region that will be growing the most, both on demographics as well as on economic growth in the next few years. So it is really anticipating itself, or perhaps filling a gap that was already there, to resolve the biggest problems that we will be facing in the next few years. When I heard about the initiative of the bank at first, I thought that it would take a long time to materialize. And I was really surprised by the speed and uh, the focus uh, the authorities, uh, the promoting authorities in China and all member countries that joined the initial proposal of China had invested in it. I think the Asian Investment Infrastructure Bank is a very important initiative. And it, it makes part of uh, renewal of multilateral institutions. And I think it is a very much welcome um, initiative. Uh, basically because the expansion of infrastructure, both in Asia and beyond Asia in other regions, makes an essential uh, component of global growth, prosperity, and enables improvements in trade and dissemination of technology, the facilitation of uh, transit of people. Therefore, I believe that initiatives marking the process of the building process of a um, modern set of multilateral institutions which are very much focused on concrete issues rather than on great goals which are more difficult to evaluate and assess. The new infrastructure uh, bank uh, also is a reflection of the Chinese increasing role for the development, particularly for Asia, and also also there is an increasing role for China, not only for Asia, but for other continents, uh, uh, including Africa. So the uh, new uh, bank initiation uh, by, by China is, is a clear, clear show of the Chinese uh, increasing profile and responsibility to, to finance uh, the other countries' development for that. So uh, I think this project also will increase the also cooperation and uh, joint development together. So, uh, and also this project has carefully, uh, until now, has carefully uh, carried out uh, and led by China. So uh, I think after time being, uh, China uh, has uh, played more uh, important role for the developments of the Asian countries and also the other countries in different regions? Well, I think the very idea of an AIB is excellent because it fills a gap in the variety of instruments at the disposal of Asia for uh, accelerating the development of its infrastructures and interconnectivity. So it's a crucial uh, instrument and I think it's good that China has taken uh, that initiative to mobilize the international community and build up a constituency for uh, financing and using that uh, multilateral instrument. One of the most interesting things that um, we are witnessing is how China has become one of the most, if not the most, relevant founder of development maybe in the world, not just in its own country, not just even in this big corner of Asia, but in the world. 
Asian Infrastructures Bank is uh, one of these examples.